We all see the back where you forgot to tape. Just put the paint cans down and let the professionals do it. Frameless glass doors, please. No more bathroom remodels where you just put the curtain back up. I can't take it anymore. My soul cannot take it. Brie and Jane here, and I like what I like. I hope you like it too. Today, I am reviewing some of your home remodels. Some are better than others. Let's find out who's. See what they got. Start dancing, since we're doing TikTok. How did TikTok go from dancing videos to design videos? Power of social media. So I want to do a black marble countertop. I painted these countertops about two years ago, but since we're remodeling the house, we need an update. Shout out to all the dirty dishes in the sink. Okay, pro tip for before photos, if you don't clean it, it's always gonna look more impressive in the after. I started by sanding and getting ready for the primer. So I did one coat of white primer, and I only needed one because we are doing a black countertop. Okay, I've done this before. Epoxy paint on countertops will work when you are looking for a very budget-friendly option. This is design on a budget. Brittany, we all see the back where you forgot to tape. You're just gonna keep talking to us, like not address the crucial step that you missed? On Amazon, I got this marble effect spray paint. I got a white and a silver, and it kind of looked like silly string. It was Wait, what is this? I didn't know you could marble it yourself. What is happening? Okay, why, why didn't we tape the backsplash? I feel like they're just gonna demo this afterward. They're just like, ah, let's see what happens. We're ripping it out anyway. I don't know if it looks better. Does it look better to you? That does not look better to me. All boxy paint should be used for on countertop application. No, let nature do the marbling. Everyone out here trying to be Picasso. No, simple is great, especially especially for the budget upgrades. I just don't understand all the time and effort when you didn't tape the back wall. We really want that paint to adhere and leave us with an awkward scene. Um, I really love how it came out. It only took Brittany, are you lying to me or are you lying to yourself? You really love how this came out. What is with that black on the white tile? It is killing me. Killing me. Brittany, what are you gonna do with that? Some people, I don't know how to say this. It, she's really trying, she's putting her heart and soul into it, she likes the silly string, but like, just put the paint cans down and let the professionals do it. Where to save and where to splurge in a bathroom remodel. Ooh, splurge versus save, those are my favorites. Save on plumbing by keeping it where it is. Yes, if you keep plumbing where it is, your remodel cost goes down astronomically. Save on tile, there's so many beautiful options under $5 per square foot. Okay, you can save on porcelain tile. Frameless glass doors. Yes, please people, frameless glass doors. That's where you splurge. Please, no more bathroom remodels where you just put the curtain back up. I can't take it anymore. My soul cannot take it. Okay, I'm agreeing with most of these. Splurge on lights. No, save on lighting, save on lighting. There's so many good options. By the way, I love the color of the cabinets in this bathroom. Good use of neutrals, white, gray, black. You can't go wrong in a bathroom. You can splurge on vanity and countertops and it's a splurge save dance there because there are a lot of manufactured stones that are great for the durability of your bathroom, but they still take the bulk of your budget. So I think that's why people think it's a splurge, but really it's a save to use a manufactured stone in a solid color. That one gets a final grade of like an A. You really can't go wrong with gray, black, and white, and those beautiful neutrals in a bathroom. Ooh, ooh, good job. I like you. You're good at this. Keep it up. Look at those before and after. See, those were taken from the same vantage point. I understand what's going on, and it's impressive. This is the perfect example of making a home purchase that is not perfect and turning it into the house you want. I bet you they save so much money on the purchase of this house because that kitchen wasn't done. This is why other people just go in and flip things. They literally turn it from what I'm seeing as the before into what I'm seeing as the after and they charge you money for it. They wrapped those kitchen countertops in vinyl. It looks great for now and that's something they can replace later down the line. That vinyl's not gonna 
gonna hold up forever, but for a temporary fix, I mean, what a difference. Oh, by the way, I love the way they turn the can lights into pendant lights over a bar. That's a really easy, quick way to elevate a space. Changing out your light fixtures is always gonna result in money back. Ooh, look at that dining room switch out. This is perfect proof that a can of paint, switching out light fixtures can go a very, very long way especially when you appropriately know how to hang your curtains. That horrible tile around the fireplace just disappears because everything around it is neutral and they put a nice little focal piece on the top. They're like good furniture days. Two cute bar stools. I'm happy. Good job. Good job, Rachel. I feel like a proud designer mama bear. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. And don't forget to follow me at Brigan Jane so you don't end up the victim of someone else's design leftovers.